hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is michelle if it's your first time passing by thank you for coming thank you for coming to our returning subscribers thank you for your support and i would also like to take this opportunity to welcome all our new subscribers as i have said my name is michelle and i make tutorials here on youtube today i'll be showing how i made this dress if you are interested in knowing how i made this please stay tuned please stay tuned this is our very first new video in 2024 okay thank you for the support guys please enjoy this video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to hit the notification bell and also to like and comment down. now i have my pattern paper i will first mark my shoulder to shoulder measurement which is 14 divided by 2 and it gives me 7 I will mark a line across. For my neckline, I will come in by two and a half inches and I will also go down by one and a half inches and then I will shape my neckline. On the shoulder line, to get my shoulder slope, I'll come down by one inch, then I join the lines. For my back length measurement, I will come down by 17. I will mark my tape from the shoulder line until the 17. And then I will draw a line across that will serve as my waist measurement. I will divide my waist measurement by 4. And whatever I get, I will add 1 inch for the dart. I will then mark my underarm measurement and the point that I will get I will draw a line across and then that will serve as my bust line. My bust divided by 4 and then I will mark the point. I'll make sure that I go on and join on the lines together. I will go to my shoulder slope to go down to my bust and draw a line. And then I would find the center for my armhole. Then I will divide it by two and then mark. I'll come in on, 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 the, show, on the armhole line. I'll come in by half an inch and then I will shape. You can use your French ruler if you have it. Mine is broken, by the way. Because we are making a dress, I need to extend the lines. So what I will do, I will work from my waist going down now because I need to create the skirt part. My waist to hip measurement, I will mark it now. And then I will draw a line across. That will serve as my hip line. Now I will mark from my waist going down the length of my skirt. Well, my skirt is very long, but because it's a, it's a pencil dress that I'm making, what I will do, I will mark from my waist till the length of my skirt. And then I will go on, divide my hips by four, and whatever I get, I will mark a point and then join all the lines together. Now that I have the full length of my dress, now we need to work on the darts. 
my nipple to nipple measurement is 8 divided by 2 that gives me 4 so I will go on my bust first my on my bust line and mark 4 inches I will also go on the waist and mark 4 inches and from my waistline I will come up by 6 inches and from my waistline also going down I will go down by 4 inches then I will join all the points together remember that I added 1 inch for the dots so what I will do on the line that I, will, I just drawn I will place my tape measurement half inch half inch side and then that will shape my dots now we have our dots our pattern is almost full what i need to do now because our fabric is not stretchy i need to add on my sewing allowance and by the way i am using an african print fabric and it's a uh, five yards if i'm not mistaken yes it's five and a half yards which gives me how many meters i think it's five and a half meters yeah and for this tutorial i did not get to buy the lining so i will use facing now this is our full pattern we are done with our pattern one thing i'll, I'll be doing i'll be using the same pattern for the back and front Because now we are making a pencil dress, I need to now design the lower part of my skirt. So on the length, on the depth of the length of the skirt, I will come in by 2 inches from the side where there is a seam allowance. From the side where there is a seam allowance. And then from my hip line going down to the length of the skirt, I will mark a line there. I will draw a line there. And then I will cut it off. This allows me to keep, it allows it allows me to have the effect of a pencil skirt. I'm removing I'm removing the pins because um, I extended my paper, and then I had it pinned down. So now I have the effects for the dress. Now I will take this on my. Now I'll take this on my fabric. I am using an African print fabric, as you can see. So now I'm cutting. For the back, I will leave like um, one and a half inch for the zipper allowance. Then I'll cut everything else. I went on to open up the seam allowance because this is for the back and the back is not on fold. So now I will remove my pattern paper from the fabric so that I design the, the front. But also first make sure that you mark your, your, your darts, you transfer your darts from the paper to the fabric. Now, I'll first work on my armhole. I'll cut that off. Because the armhole, the armhole of the back and the front isn't the same thing. So now, because my front is a V-shape, I will have to come down on the bus line. It's up to you how deep you want your V-shape to be. But my one, I came, to, I came down by 2 inches and then it's up to you also how wide open you want it to be on the shoulders. So you need to mark whatever preference you have and then connect the dots. It's up to you whether you're having a V-shape or 
a square shape you decide even if you also want to remain having the the round neck shape you can still do that but you need to come down a little bit from the shoulder line to to mark whatever that you want for your neck so now i've went on and cut on my front my front was on fold i did not add any zipper allowance for the front and what i will do now i will transfer my darts on the fabric i will transfer the darts on the fabric if you're having a, a lining you can use it but in my case i did not have a lining so what i went on to do was to cut um facing facing for my dress now i'm removing all the pins and i will open the dress parts and then make sure that i transfer all the dots on the fabric please do not forget to subscribe to my channel comment down below if you have any questions and also if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button you can use your ruler to mark on your dots so that you bring out the neat and clean lines now i have both my patterns the front and the back so what i will do now i need to measure my shoulders my shoulders because for both it's different now because i eliminated some from the front so now the armholes um i need to make the shoulder to shoulder kiss each other and then mark with the other shoulder for the for the front ends and then because i don't want a deep back length uh back neckline so i will just remove like half an inch from the zipper allowance going forth also I'll also do I'll also make sure that i mark my dots on the back fabric I went on to cut my facing for both back and front. So now I will take my fabric the main fabric to the sewing machine and sew down my dots for both back and my front. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and to like and comment down below. Now I have sewed down my dart. What I will do, I will take my facing and place on the neckline and then go to the sewing machine to sew down everything. Right sides facing each other. And also, on the unfold part of my facing, I will mark four from the unfold part. I will mark four to get my dart. And then I will make a small dart so that it will align very well with the main fabric. Because now you can see that it's no longer 
um, equal. I'll sew down and top stitch my neckline. Do the same thing for the back too. I'll place my I'll place my face seam on the main fabric, right sides facing each other, and then I will take this to the sewing machine. I have done that, as you can see, now the facing is attached to the main fabric for both back and the front. Now what I will do, I will measure my shoulders for the back and for the front and then attach it together. Now that my shoulders are attached, I will then go on and mark, close the sides. I'm going to close the sides now remember I added one inch sewing allowance so what I will do on the both sides of my dress to close them up I will just sew down by one inch going down to the bottom of the dress for both sides And I've done that, I went on to weave the sides to give a clean look. Now I will turn the dress and work on the back side. Unfortunately, I did not record anything for the sleeves because I was so indecisive on what sleeve to design. So I made whatever design that I wanted. So there won't be any sleeve tutorial for this dress. So now from the top, the neckline, of the dress going down I am marking um, my zipper allowance I'm leaving one it's one and a half inch that I need to close down and then from the waistline I'll just go down by 20 centimeters or, and that is like um, six inches if I'm not mistaken and then I'll close down the dress Now I'll have to work on the the flare parts of the dress. Remember it is a very long dress, but now what I am doing is um I'm adding a poplar or a flare on the bottom. So what I will do now, I will place my fabric divided into two it's only divided into two I only fold it twice and then I am marking um, five and a half inches what I did I went to the bottom of my skates and marked whatever that I have there I don't know what happened to the clip where I was doing that unfortunately I lost it so now I will mark the length of my flip of which it's 23 inches including the sewing allowance then i will measure it round i will have two same pieces of the flea because i folded my fabric only once please do not forget to comment down below to like the video and also to hit the notification bell whenever I post new videos. You'll now I have both my flare pieces, so I will take them down to the sewing machine. Remember, I did not leave any sewing allowance, and then I'll take it to the sewing machine and then sew it down. I have put on my zipper, it is already there now, and what I will do now is to just attach the bottom parts to the
to the hem parts of the skirt and then what i will do i will make another video on how to cut a full cycle skirts i will the next video that i'll be making very soon will be on how to cut a full cycle then we will work from that now i'm attaching my bottom parts and this will be the end of our tutorial this is how i made this dress if you are interested in knowing how i made it if you okay if you have watched until this far thank you for your support thank you for being there please do not forget to watch the ads thank you guys for everything happy new year happy new year we hope we're gonna post more of our videos we're gonna work more towards on growing the channel thank you guys bye bye